Guys, welcome back. It's Fessy here from P4C. If you're new to my channel and have not subscribed, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell for the latest videos and updates because we are approximately eight to nine days away, depending on when this video actually will go out, uh, of the latest uh, Pokemon set, which is the single strike or the rapid strike in Japanese, which is the English equivalent of the battle styles. Now, again, depending on when this particular video will come out, uh, we will hope to bring you guys the latest opening and sets review for that particular set. But today we are all about uh, this particular Sun and Moon base set booster box. Uh, not sure if you can call this a vintage opening, but this uh, base set booster box uh, is around three years old, three to four years old now. Uh, the English version came out in 2017 uh, and the Japanese version came out in December 2016 so about three to four years old so we'll crack this box open uh, we'll open half of it today and uh, we're back with uh, a few more uh, Dragon Ball Super card packs as well again these were under three dollars US dollars so I had a lot of fun opening up uh, opening in the last video so I thought I uh, will open some more today All right like I said we are going to only do half of the box today now this is a factory sealed uh, booster box and I think looking at 130point.com in terms of sales uh, the last sale of the factory seal uh, booster box is around 200 to 300 dollars 200 to 300 dollars again this is obviously not vintage vintage but uh, it, it, I, I'm not sure if this particular set has aged well. For me, uh, I'm kind of opening up this uh, in masses uh, for the first time around. And the reason being, uh, we are chasing, uh, we are chasing for the Umbreon or the Espeon Rainbow Rare. So we've got uh, 16 packs here, uh, two, four, six, eight, 16 packs. So that should be eight packs each, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10. Sorry, here we go. Uh, my mouse is bad. <laughs> so anyway, we'll open half uh, and then uh, we'll go into the Dragon Ball in the middle and then we'll finish it off with the rest uh, of the second half of the first half. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. First pack. Uh, we have opened some. Uh, we have opened some uh, Sun and Moon base set uh, here and there on our channel. And the reason being is that uh, they came, they come with uh, a lot of uh, different stuff, you know, that with any of the boxes or the tins. So we have opened some random ones here and there. Uh, definitely not to uh, this magnitude where we bust open a booster box. And like I said, uh, these one of these are going for around 200 to 300 at the moment. And then for our first card, we've got a crocodile holo rare. First pack, we can say we've got a bit of a hit here. Uh, go into the second pack, but um, yeah, I really uh, want to get this. I, I think I actually am not sure, hundred percent sure, but I thought that I actually sent uh, the. I did have the Rainbow Espion. I think uh, I could be wrong, but uh, I, I thought I might have sent a few of those to PSA. Which, by the way, uh, nothing here. Which, by the way, um, we are getting a few PSA returns. So that's the good news. So um, a batch of English card that I've sent. Uh, these are all mine actually. Uh, are in the process of getting graded now. Uh, but still, this is actually a sub back in June. Sub back in June. So I'm not sure if, if and when that will come back, hopefully within the next two to three months, but we did submit, uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember, and I'm not sure whether I did a video on this or not, uh, is that we submitted um, a batch of cards uh, in for a regular service, uh, for a regular service. So uh, I have to actually go back uh, to, to drop my memory whether I did a submission video for those, but basically is six cards, um, Majority of the cards are the ones from the Shiny Star V series, and uh, there's one that is very vintage, and that one is the Grand Party card. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put it on screen, but basically the Grand Party card is, you could say, one of the uh, most sought out or in-demand cards in, in the, uh, other than the the old school Charizard. So, uh, 
Uh, we've put that for grading uh, and you know, uh, you guys very well know, I only put cards for grading if I think they uh, have a shot at 10. That particular one though, I wasn't sure if it was going to be 10. We've got an Arcanine Hollow here, uh, but I put it for anyway, hoping the best result I think that card uh, could get would be a, if we get a PSA 9, I'll be really happy with it. Uh, but I think uh, in reality that card will probably be, I would say, anywhere from a 7 to an 8. Uh, I might be too harsh on myself, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but that should be uh, shipped according to PSA. So the grades are in. Nothing so far, still nothing so far. Uh, the grades are in uh, and it is shipped uh, according to PSA. So we are almost finishing up the uh, the first half of the first half and so far nothing so far nothing beside these uh, this arcanine and these uh, crocodile here uh, toro cat rainbow energy uh, grubin zubat torkoal rowlet a drowsy here and then we've got a crushing hammer and then a crab domino so still in search for our kind of first gx or any sort of hit uh here, two more packs and then we'll jump into the Dragon Ball Super again. Uh, I definitely had a lot of fun opening up those uh, and I think a few of you guys also quite enjoyed it as well. So we'll, I think we'll stick to this particular routine uh, and until the day you guys are really sick of it. Um, basically getting these cards at a, such a good price and a Kanga <laughs> Scan Holo here. So we're pulling a lot of Holo cards here, but no GXs so far. No GXs so far. Um, so yeah, if uh, if you guys continue to enjoy it, we'll, uh, we'll continue to open them. Uh, meanwhile, I am... Um, you can say I'm getting into the Dragon Ball Super stuff a little bit more. Um, just because I really, uh, really like the... I mean, I'm a, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z, uh, big Dragon Ball fan, I guess, uh, overall. And that's why I'm sort of uh, getting into it more. And, and again, um, Pokemon cards are just way, way, way too expensive at the moment. We've got a Ribbon Bear here and then a Scotland to end. All right, uh, eight packs here. Same series again, Malicious uh, Machina Nation, Mach Machination. Uh, I struggled to pronounce it uh, last time and struggled to pronounce it this time. Uh, we pull, we did actually got a lot of uh, good pull last time, which I wasn't sure it was expected or not, but uh, we're still missing the secret rare. There's three secret rare, which is the uh, Vegeta SS4, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, Dragon Ball's negative energy flow, and baby Janembi. Uh, so we are still missing those secret rare, but we did pull a Android 21, which is a special rare. Again, these cards are not worth anywhere close to what Pokemon cards are worth, uh, but these cards in terms of the art, and I just really like them, just really like them. We've got a Dark Planet here as our rare card here. So nothing from our, nothing major, nothing major from our first pull, or first pack, rather. Um, I think the most expensive card for this particular set, uh, again, looking at, the, uh, the TCGplayer.com in terms of market price and the median price. Market price is around $95 um, in terms of the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Peak of Primitive Power card, uh, which is a secret rare. Uh, they have been sold previously for around $100. So again, you know, I think we talk about a base set card in 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 Pokemon is obviously easily more than that. But, you know, again, this is more of a, again, personal interest and hobby. We've got a birthday party here with Bulma in the back and then a, the rarest, a Beerus binding his time. So uh, I'm still learning, still learning about the, these um, Dragon Ball cards. Uh, it, it, because to me, uh, it's funny, like this particular set seemed to have a guarantee hit uh, in terms of the rare being a uh, having the hollow foil, but other set don't. The other set didn't, uh, I should say. Um, so uh, we have opened uh, one pack, one pack on our uh, daily TCG, and that pack didn't. The rare wasn't a holographics. 
I didn't have any holophile on it. So we've got an Android 21. Uh, this is a, uh, you can say, holo holographic cards, uncommon. And then the rare is Goku, uh, Spirit of the Planet, which uh, is, you can say, is a very, very old school Goku here. Um, you know, not being in that Super Saiyan form. Almost, uh, I think this would be the time when he fought against uh, either Vegeta or his uh, or his older brother, actually, uh, or his older brother. All right, getting through these uh, packs. Sometimes I can't actually open them, so that's why I have to put, get the scissors out. Uh, but still, no major hit. Still, no major hit so far. We've got Videl here. Go Tanks, Blutz, Gohan, Trunks. Uh, Goku here, Android 18, uh, and then we've got Destron Gas here, we've got a Brainwash Bomber, and then we've got a uh, Grade 8 Baby, a rare, which looks very, very nice. Uh, this is the kind of a, the Crack Eyes, uh, Crack Eyes holographic foil kind of thing, uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of Pokemon, um, Remember the Crack Eyes Charizard that hey, they had? So this is kind of the same sort of holographics, I guess, uh, pattern here. But yeah, so so far, still nothing. So far, our opening, to, to tell you the truth, our opening been pretty poor because we pull uh, only uh, three hollow rare from, uh, from Sun and Moon and we haven't pulled anything spectacular, only rare cards from this Dragon Ball. Hopefully, we can turn things around here with... In there, we've got a, uh, a super rare here. Um, I called them secret rare last time. This is a super rare, um, which is super baby. Now, baby, of course, uh, for those who are playing at home, uh, is uh, an early antagonist uh, in the Dragon Ball GT series. In the GT series. All right, three packs left. But to tell you the truth, uh, I didn't watch. GT. Um, I only saw clips online on YouTube and uh, and snippets of you know what's what you need to know, I guess, uh, in terms of the story plot. So I didn't really watch GT, nor I watched uh, Dragon Ball Super. Again, snippets on it online, uh, but actually tuning into the episode when uh, Goku went uh, Ultra Instinct, I thought that was pretty cool. So all right, Bomber advice here, and then we've got Shu. On the offense, and then a rare Goku here, one hit wonder. Again, it's just a rare card, but for me, like, you know, people who open Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball cards um, would be like, oh, it's only a rare card. For me at the moment, and I think this is kind of like what you go back to when I first opened Pokemon cards as well. Um, when I pull like GX's card or V cards, I'm like, oh, super excited. <laughs> so, um, you know, pulling this rare is probably means absolutely zero. This this rare card probably only means, you know, a few cents. <laughs> but um, for me, like, it's like, wow, it's really awesome. <laughs> just uh, even though it is just a rare, but you know, I remember trying to get these type of uh, holofoil card in uh, when I was young. It was really hard. It was like you 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 easily would burn um, much more than uh, eighteen dollars just to get one. But uh, we're definitely getting a lot of Goku's here. We're de definitely getting a lot of Goku's here. All right, one more pack, which again we need the uh, scissors. Um, one more pack before we jump back into our Sun and Moon opening. Here we go. Let's see, or oh, let's hope uh, we can hit one of these secret rare at least, secret rare. Uh, and the, the thing is like, and I don't know, you know, whether you're guaranteed uh, one a box or not. So uh, these are all loose packs and that's why they're so cheap. They're like three less than $3 um, per pack, uh, which have provided a lot of fun so far. We've got a Bulma, Bul Bula, sorry. Uh, and then the last card here, let's look at it from the top, is Sun Goku Energy Salvo, which is another rare. All right, jumping back into our Sun and Moon opening, and we've got two, four, six, eight, nine packs to go uh, to complete our first half. Uh, and we will open the second half of the box uh, at another time, at another time. So hopefully we'll hit something here as we uh, have got absolutely nothing. At least a GX card will be nice. At least a GX card will be nice. A, uh, a Dark Energy here. And then a Poison Barb. Team Skull. Uh, 
Pasminian, Shelda, Young Goose, Paris, Caterpie, and then a Crocodile Reverse Hollow Rare here. And then from the top, we've got a Onguru, another Hollow Rare here. So our dry streak continue. Our dry streak continue. Uh, I was actually thinking the other day, and do comment in the below. Uh, let us know in the comment below. Uh, if there is any sets, you guys are just, um, how do I best put it? Like, I've, there are so, there is one set that is in my mind that I've opened so many and I just never get hits on it. And that particular one set uh, is the Evolution XY, XY Evolution. And the reason why I say it is that I've opened probably maybe two, three booster box worth now. Two, three booster box worth. And I have, well, this, despite the set, or given the set that has uh, four Charizard, you would think I would have pulled one by now, but for Evolution XY, I have never pulled a Charizard card. So Brioni and then Masquerine here. Uh, and I just get, gar like, honestly, garbage pulls for uh, Evolution XY. So uh, that set is kind of like my, I would say, uh, my arch enemy, would that be correct? My arch enemy. Uh, is there any set for you guys, the arch enemy? I know a lot of people open Champion's Path and have not hit the any of the true Charizard. Uh, so that could be one for you if, if you're one of those. Uh, I'm slowly feeling, we've got a Butterfree here and then a Hariyama here. I'm slowly feeling uh, this particular set here. Could be one of those as well as we burnt through almost half of the booster box. And so far, not even a single GX card. I would actually say if we pull a GX card here, I'll call it even. I will call it even. We've got an Acronoid here, Nest Ball, Poliwhirl, Cosmog, Litten, Psyduck, Bonsuite, a little pop, and then we've got a Poliwag, which is a uh, not a claymation, which is a knit, 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 K N I T, knit nation. And then we finally have something here, which is an Umbreon GX. Wow, uh, not quite, not quite the uh, the rainbow rare that we're looking for, but uh, we're onto something here. We're onto something here. So Umbreon GX. I'm gonna sleep that as our first hit of today. First hit of today, and we still got four packs left. Still got four packs left. So hopefully, this particular GX card will get us on a bit of a roll here. On a bit of a roll here. Water energy here. Uh, great ball. Uh, Rotom decks. But it's also interesting to know what you guys would consider vintage as well. I mean, obviously. As a no-brainer, you would call anything Watsy uh, vintage, but where do you draw the line? Um, is, you know, for example, Sun and Moon, is that, I don't think Sun and Moon is vintage. Personally, don't think Sun and Moon is vintage. Um, you know, one set though, in particular, I, I will ask you guys, again, let us know in the comment below. Um, would you consider black and white, um, Pokemon black and white sets vintage? Uh, let us know. Let us know. Um, some people may, some people might. We've got, oh, we've got another GX here. We're finally hitting a bit of GX. We've got a Laurentis GX here. Very nice. Uh, finally, getting a bit of a, a few hit hits here. A few combo hits here. All right, two more packs, and then uh, we'll call it today. We'll call it a day. Uh, until next time, we we'll open the rest. So two more packs here. I hope you guys got that code. We've got four cards here. We've got a Fighting Energy, a Wishy Wash. Yeah, so Black and White, would you call that vintage? I I, I called it, I think, um, in one of my, at least one of my videos anyway. A Kavana and then a Tucanon. Tucanon here, nothing here. Last pack, Pyramavira uh, Art Set. That's our last pack here. Hopefully, hashtag, a bit of last pack luck. And here we go. Oh, a little bit hard. One, two, three, four. Okay, all right. 
Uh, the one thing that I'm... Uh, maybe I should talk about it in the next video, but the code card is making me a little bit angry now. And it's one of those things you can't kind of unforget it as well. But anyway, Crap Roller, Mioni, Rainbow Energy, yeah. And then last but not least, hey, <laughs> Purina, uh, turn things off. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this particular opening. We still have the second half of this box to go, and hopefully, in the second half of this particular box, we will be able to pull some fire and light today. But also hope you guys enjoy the Dragon Ball Super card set opening as well. Uh, the next video, uh, I'm actually a little bit unsure about schedule because uh, something popped up on Friday, which made me ultra excited. Uh, a bit of a new side project, but uh, make sure you guys actually keep an eye out for our uh, community tab as well, because uh, we will uh, have some news there. So guys, if you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then after that, hit the bell for the latest videos and updates, because we've got plenty of plenty and plenty of content to come within the next few weeks. And until next time, may the God of Pools be with you always. Thank you.